Now, time is running out for municipal uh, councils to elect new leaders. Coalition talks are underway in five hung metros. Party says there's, parties say there's been some tough negotiations. And as we go to ENCA's Buleli Chwiti Jones, who's following developments and joins us now live. Uh, Buleli, tell us a little bit about uh, what these uh, individual parties are telling you. I mean, we have an update, for instance, from the EFF and what they say a solution is in Gauteng, but the Action SA is saying that they are ruling the EFF out as well. What are we hearing so far? Mm. Mm, definitely. Um, uh, good morning, Masiko. And we do know that in that statement released by the Action SA, of course, under the leadership of Herbert Mashaba, saying that they are ruling out the possibilities of going to coalition with the EFF due to the backing of the ANC. Now, do you remember that um, yesterday, just in the Eastern Cape, leader of EFF, Julius Malema, saying they had actually spoken to um, Herbert Mashaba to say, look, what we can do is give you Johannesburg, we take Twane, and ANC takes Kurleni. But however, in order for you to get into Johannesburg, we need that quorum of the ANC and the numbers to push you up to get inside. But that's something Mashaba has maintained throughout his um, campaign. Masiko saying he's not willing to do any work or talk any politics with the ANC, given their background and, of course, allegations that have been stemmed against the party, which include, of course, allegations of corruption against the ANC. So Mashaba has been quite... Um, consistent with that statement. However, the EFF are of the view that they need those numbers. Now, what we understand um, in terms of, you know, some of those sources inside Action SA is that there was a meeting held between, of course, the EFF um, this week as well, which brought their full delegation and presented some of their, you know, talking uh, points and, of course, policies and focuses as to how they can work with Action SA in terms of a coalition government. But it seems as though nothing is going towards an agreement there. In fact, we do know that the party, Action SA, has, of course, also not ruled out the possibility of being a position if they do not come within the correct agreements. They've also met the likes of the Democratic Alliance. We also know that those talks are still ongoing. So in just a matter of this week, we should be getting those agreements as to what is the um, way forward for these coalition agreements in Gauteng. Mm. And it's going to be very interesting, especially in the city of Tswane, Bule, uh, where we saw that a coalition there uh, basically collapsed the capital. Definitely, you'd remember that the EFF and a DA marriage wasn't quite successful. Um, there was a lot of political squabbling that took place. In fact, do you know that the DA had fielded about four mayors before actually, um, you know, getting to the correct one right now, which is Randall Williams. But another story here, Masiko, which we have been tracking as well, is some of the grievances of disgruntled members from Action SA in Soweto, who have, of course, um, released a couple of documents saying their uh, demands haven't been met. They're going to be joining me right now in terms of what are some of the concerns. This comes to the, you know, a crucial time when coalition talks um, are quite at their sensitive stage at this moment. So I'm joined by Mandla, who's going to keep it quite short. Mandla, if you could just brief us as to what are some of the concerns as um, Umpagat, and of course as the ward councillor candidate representing um, Action SA, you're worried about? It is very worrisome that um, as ward councillor candidates, we campaigned from our own pockets when the organization told us that there are no resources. It's amazing today to know that uh, Dr. Mashaba is reporting somewhere to the so-called donors. Many of us are in debt now, and we have tried to engage the leadership. So it is a lie that we just jumped from wherever to, 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 the, to the media. We wrote letters, we, we made phone calls, but we ignored. And today we are called the power mongers, those who are pushing politics of the stomach, which is very disappointing, I must say. And we, we don't understand why a fully-fledged president should go into the peer list. The mandate was that he must go there as a mayor. We do not understand why the national operations manager should be on the peer list. We don't understand why a fully-fledged provincial chair of the organization should go to a peer list. So the question is, who is the power monger between us and the leadership? And just the last question before I wrap it up from here. What is the way forward, Mandla, going um, you know, into the next level? We do understand, you know, of course, coalitions are in talks right now. And your disputes um, relate to, um, you know, PR disputes. We've seen some of the, the communique that has been going on in terms of um, the leadership saying they will get back to you. Have you received that response? And what is the way forward from your honours? The only response that we received, it was the three of us, was termination letters. And we want to say to the leadership of Action SA, we have been working the grounds before Action SA was born. So people voted for us. They did not vote for Action SA. We are the ones who sold Action SA to the people and Dade Mashaba. So we are very disappointed that today, after elections, only those who were 
uh, uh, closer to him are the ones in the, on, the, on their peer list. People we do not know. 135 seats, 135 mm. wards divided by 44 means one PR will preside over three wards. Mm. So, so we, must, we must wait for strangers to come and preside over uh, our wards, mm. which is unacceptable. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, and therefore, Masiko, also, this is a very hotly contested ward by the ANC, but those are some of, you know, the dynamics that we're experiencing on our way to the finalization of coalition talks. You do understand that every after election, 14 days then, that's where there should be that formulation of council where a mayoral speaker, uh, I'm sorry, a speaker, council speaker and a mayor should be elected. But in an interim, or rather in a, in a decision, or rather a way that has not happened, then the city manager then comes in to invoke, or rather push, for the by-elections that will then take place within a space of 90 days. So it's quite interesting to see how these coalition talks will be going. This is something we'll be tracking. And of course, speaking to some of the members on the grounds who are affiliated to different political parties.